Hello everyone. Uh, today I've been looking in my freezer things I'm trying to use up and uh, came across a couple of pieces of uh, boneless uh, skinless chicken and I thought I'd do a low budget pasta and I'll be making my own uh, garlic bread as well. Um, so without further ado I'll uh, show you step by step how I've made this dish and uh, we'll go from there. So I started out with uh, boneless, skinless chicken. I put some salt and pepper on it. A little bit of uh, beer in the bottom, not, not even half, a, not even half a beer and a little bit of water inside just to kind of uh, dilute it a little bit. I put um, salt and pepper on my chicken and just a tiny dusting of uh, garlic uh, salt. Uh, you could probably do it without the salt and just use the garlic salt. Uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to be too salty but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll catch up with you in the next segment. I am preheating my oven to 350 degrees and I'll be putting my chicken in for an hour. So we've browned our chicken and what I've done is I've uh, chopped it up um, trying to make bite-sized pieces. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I started my uh, boiling water. Uh, we'll wait for it to boil and I'm going to put two cups of pasta in. And uh, once the pasta is in, you set your timer for 10 minutes and your pasta will be done. So as you can see, my pot is uh, at roaring boil. I'll add my two cups of pasta and I'll set my timer for 10 minutes. Uh, as a side note, I'd suggest stirring the pasta around a little bit just so it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna do uh, chicken wings up as well. Uh, with my uh, homemade uh, garlic bread I just to kind of give it that takeout feel I have taken out some uh, uh, random vegetables it has uh, broccoli carrots uh, cauliflower and um, yeah, broccoli with it. I set it out aside to defrost. I might put a little bit of water in it in order to like uh, warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna add corn as well. Uh, corn won't take that long uh, to cook in the hot pasta so I'm not gonna bother uh, cooking it up as much. We'll just see where we're at in terms of vegetables. Um, if you don't like um, carrots or uh, cauliflower or broccoli or you really like broccoli, you could just buy frozen broccoli. Um, just all depends on what you want to add to it. Well, I'm waiting for my pasta to cook. I have uh, preset my oven to 425 degrees for uh, chicken wings that I bought at Walmart. Um, and then uh, once everything is kind of cooked, we'll do uh, uh, homemade uh, garlic bread. You can add cheese to it if you want. 
And my oven does allow for a warming uh, cycle. So if you uh, shred up some cheese, um, set your oven to like 170 degrees, maybe put them on a cookie sheet or whatever, and uh, you can have a homemade uh, garlic bread with cheese on it. If that's something you want to do. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to butter my bread and put just a little bit of um, garlic salt on it just because it is salty and I really don't want that salt to come through. So what I did here was I put two tablespoons of butter in, I added my frozen corn, my vegetables that have been defrosting for a bit, and uh, I've added my chicken. You want two tablespoons of butter, and we'll just go ahead and mix that all in. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I did put two tablespoons of Italiano spice in it. My oven just went off to tell me that my uh, preset is okay for my uh, chicken wings. I'm gonna put them in for 22 minutes. And uh, once they get close to being done, I'll start my own homemade uh, garlic bread. Now I did find some of the vegetables were a little bit cold, so what I did was I turned the heat on. Once I heard my pot kind of sizzling, I took it off the heat. All I want to do is add a little bit of heat in order to make sure the vegetables are warm. Um, I did put my uh, chicken wings on a uh, cookie sheet, and I'll put them in the uh, oven for 30 minutes. I think I might have uh, misled you a little bit. So we'll wait for that to cook and uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll make our garlic bread. It won't take too much uh, longer to do that. So what I did was I toasted two pieces of bread, put a little bit of butter on it, and I put some uh, garlic salt sparingly on it, just a dusting. Because it will make your food more uh, salty. Um, garlic powder would probably be a better choice in this dish. And as you can see, I did my chicken wings and with the pasta, uh, since I've cooked everything like one at a time, you might want to just maybe zap your pasta in the microwave for a few minutes or if you don't have a microwave just turn your uh, burner on for a few minutes uh, once you hear the sizzling uh, for your pasta it's probably hot enough and just take it off the heat immediately all you want to do is warm it up a little bit so I hope this has been informative. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like what I've done, please subscribe. Um, questions and comments are always welcome. Uh, I'll do my best to try to think something else up for you. And uh, I enjoy cooking with you again. Bye for now.